All right, everybody, here we go. Let's see some fish today. Today, I'm uh, just walking to a place where, just down in the woods here, working some stream, all delayed harvest area, just all catch and release as per usual, name of the game. Uh, but just gotta walk back a little bit far, far into the woods here to get to the stream. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can put on today. I'm starting off with a trout magnet because that's what's tied on right now. And uh, yeah, should be pretty simple. Should get some fish on, should. Either way. I'm going to be just using a trout magnet, um, well, to start off with. Who knows what I switch over to be on that. But, um, yeah, let's get to the stream. Let's have some fun. Let's see some fish. So, I actually wanted to start off with the uh, little strike indicator on this. But I decided I'm just going to go with uh, what's worked really well for me. I'm just going to kind of jig this with a BB split and see if I can get one of these trout to hit maybe. I'm in a spot where I'm just uh, currently pulling jaggers out of my shirt. I actually have to get on my knees to even hopefully cast this here. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to land one when we land one, because it's not if, it's when. Oh, the casting here is nominal. Oh, mother of God. Mother of God. All right, guys, so we crossed the stream and I'm casting right against where I was, where I couldn't cast. And casting's still not the easiest here, but she's better than that. That was brutal over there. I got it right under that tree over there. There's a bite. There's a bite. Got him. Got him. Nice. Beautiful little rainbow. On the trout magnet. She worked. Just had to get it to the right spot. Always easy to get out. Buddy, you're super cool. See you later, man. We'll swim the other way. Swim, no, swim the other way. Okay, I can turn you. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> nice. Come on, Greg. Guess that thing right up there. See what happens to it. I don't. I don't want to get it caught. Oh, I just got a nice little bite on it. It's got a really big tuck. <laughs> There it was. Okay. A little bit further up in this creek than I really want to be. I prefer bank fishing. I much prefer just fishing from the bank. Just because I I don't want to get in the water for no reason, but if there's just no castability like here, you don't really have much of a choice. You know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try just winding. I I just want to see if maybe a fish might actually grab this by just winding it, and it did. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I played them a little too long getting my net out, but hey, man, we'll take that. That's awesome. Try casting down and we got him oh just wanted to try a cast down oh that's a big bow let's not lose him that's a big bow we got him oh we had him oh came off at the last minute oh <laughs> Popped off at the last minute. We're gonna try to get a good view of him. Okay. Man, look at him. He's a beauty. I'm gonna get him a little, little drink of water. Let's uh let's get a tape measure on him, see how big he is. 
guys, I don't know. I, I tried measuring it, uh, getting out my tape measure and everything to get that thing measured. It was about 17 inches. Um, tried videotaping it. I don't know if I got it. I guess I'll have to check the footage when I get home. But uh, yeah, that was a really, really nice rainbow. Solid. I don't know if I got the release. If I didn't get the release, that really sucks. Either way, he's back. He's good. All in the trout magnet. We're liking it so far. Let's keep having some fun. So guys, moving to real talk here. I mean, uh, like one of my favorite ways to fish is just with a spinner and just working stream and just walking a whole bunch of places with, um, you know, just looking for trout and everything. But, you know, I definitely love getting to try some new things out um, or just some stuff that I'm not exactly the most comfortable with. And honestly, this trout magnet, I'm not the most comfortable with it by any stretch of the mind. Um, it saved me on a couple days and like this thing is absolutely awesome. I know a lot of people love using these things. Um, it, it's just not always what I'm about using. And if you can read a stream, I mean, you should be able to put them on. So I, I don't know. I like just upping my repertoire to just using a bunch of different baits. You know, I like using little crankbaits and all that stuff just to just to kind of play in the water. Cause it's like, if you've caught fish before, it's like, well, see what works at different times of the year. See what works with different, um, you know, sections of stream and see, you know, what's working at better times of the day, you know, cause I've been out and I've used spinners a whole bunch and it doesn't, it, it doesn't always work. So being able to get more comfortable with something like this little, just this little grubby trout magnet, I think it's important, you know, so just, just use a bunch of baits. That's really what I'm trying to do here. So that was kind of my goal today and goal succeeded. So yeah, incredibly happy to just, you know, really have a section of stream to myself to just kind of play with it. And uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Anyway, let's keep fishing. Let's get some more on. So I know there's a lot of other ways to use a trout magnet and everything, but this is, this is my favorite way. Um, and it, it's, it's worked pretty well for me. Um, pretty much I'm, I'm legitimately just like throw a little BB split on and I, I don't know if I've ever had it where I've just wound it and caught one. I've caught some like on like the, um, like winding it in after a couple of jigs and some have come up and hit it. Uh, but yeah, no, this is one of my favorites. Uh, something about that little jigging motion seems to work really, really well. So I'm gonna just keep doing that. Just get that right in there. Just kind of right off that tree, like where that tree's reaching out to the middle of the stream. I'd like to think, yep. I was thinking there might be one right in there. Oh, that was a cool jump, buddy. That was a cool jump. That little rainbow. Yes. Yes. Easy. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Look at him. What a beauty. See you, man. Quit swim back into the net, brother. There you go. Jeez Louise. Well guys, uh, I'm going to cast a couple more times down in this little area right here, but it's a beautiful thing being able to just have a whole section of stream to yourself and nobody can see you look like an idiot in the stream and just try out a bunch of things. I just fell down a lot. That's going to happen. I'm not the most graceful person. Never was. Well, <laughs> we're having fun. There's nobody else here to see me do it until I throw it on YouTube. Let's, uh, let's try to cast in a couple times down here and uh, see if we can put a couple of fish on. Oh, there's another fall. Oh, I'm trying not to fall while I'm jigging. Oh, I'm getting stuck in the mud. Oh no, I'm so deep in this muck right now. I, well, I'm stationary right now, so I guess that's fine. We'll see if anything can uh, latches onto this while I'm doing that, while I'm stuck, currently stuck in the mud. Um, yep. There's another one. Nice rainbow. Nice one. 
Come on, buddy. I'm currently stuck in the mud. Can't do much for you. We're gonna wet our hands. We're gonna get him rocking and rolling out of here. Buddy, thank you for the catch. There he goes. Ugh. My leg is currently trembling right now just because I'm using so much of my muscle just to stay stationary. Oh gosh, I have no clue how that looks. Oh well, guys, there you go. Full video on the trout magnet. It's getting late, it's getting pretty chilly. Uh, I was really, really smart and didn't bring a hoodie with me because it was beautiful when I first got here. There you go. Everybody out there, best of luck. Keep tight lines. Remember, even Jesus had a fishing story.